What's up? In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a mini tank or a mini M1A Brims tank in uh, playing crazy Roblox. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into it. All right. So first things first, you're going to get a beam one by four and place one and then go three blocks and then place a second beam just like so. You're going to place a block behind it in front of it. So you actually have a uh, one by four and then two blocks. All right. And you're going to have two of those three blocks apart, as you can see. All right, then you're gonna go and get a conveyor from the little like settings icon and get a conveyor and get a conveyor wedge and just um, put them on each corner of of the of your of your build and just set it to something that you'll never never touch. Right, these are just kind of um, for show. They don't actually do anything in this build and they won't do anything in this build either. Uh, next things next, you're gonna go to half blocks and get a half wedge down as you can see right here and just place one on the front two. Um, I guess treads you could call them so you kind of have that tank part coming up from the treads uh, Next you're gonna go to half blocks get a half wedge and just place them Like so as you can three see three there and then three there just like that All right, so we have the main body of our tanks Then you're gonna get some half beams from half blocks and place two half beams behind the uh, half wedge downs as you can see then you're going to go to half blocks just get some regular half blocks and orientate them so that the bottom half of the the block is empty just like so and place them in the middle and just two of them as you can see here all right and then you're going to get some propellers um, for turning and place one on each side and i forgot to say this earlier on in the video but actually for the propellers what you're going to do is set the propeller on the right to d with on off only mode on true and reverse thrust on true and then you can leave the decrease power blank and then on the other repeller it's a for increased power reverse thrust on off only mode on true then you're going to go to the pvp weapons and get your missiles all right or your rockets and place them like so instead of having the white part on the top you're going to have the white part on the bottom all right and place them just behind the propellers and you can leave the settings as is unless you want a different fire button um, but for me, it's just F, alright? Then you're going to go into the light bulb and get your main pilot seat, which I've already placed in the other build, but uh, if you actually, uh, here I can actually remove it, uh, and if you actually get it and then orientate it so that you're facing towards the ground, and kind of behind you, you're going to place it like so. Then you're going to go to the propulsion tab, get a jet engine, and place the jet engine behind the main pilot seat, with the keybind set to W and S for forward and backwards, and then on off only mode on true so that you can you know, move forward and backwards without like winding up the jet each time. Then you're gonna go to half blocks and just, you know, fill in whatever's left with the half block orientated, you know, as shown here. All right, and just fill all that in, even up to the uh, last conveyor tread so that we have kind of the back of our tank almost finished. Then we're gonna go to blocks and get a beam one by four as seen here. All right, and just place two of those, I believe, and then some blocks to fill it in like so. And then you're going to go to the little blocks tab again and get a ladder all right, and place the ladders like this. All right. So they don't really need to be orientated any specific way. I have them orientated like this here just, you know, for, you know, because they look better, I guess. Um, but you can just place them like so, all right, so that they cover the outside of all of these blocks here. All right. And then you're going to go to the blocks tab once again, go to wedges and get the half wedge from the first wedges tab. Looks like this. All right. Uh, and you're going to orientate it like this so that it's facing forwards and you're just going to place them so that they fill in that gap that we have between the the treads and the the back of our tank then you're going to go to the half blocks tab get some half blocks and just kind of fill in this top part of the tank all right um just leaving out this middle block next in like basically in front of your main pilot seat for the actual the motor that orientates or moves the turret around um, but apart from that, everything else should be filled in with uh, half blocks. Then you're going to go to the motors tab, and instead of getting a regular motor, you're actually going to get a motor 2, and orientate that so that the uh, lighter part is facing upwards with the darker, um, I guess more tan part downwards, all right? And you're going to put it right in the middle there, as you can see, with these settings set to speed, 50, and max torque to 1,000. With all these just blank, they don't have to be anything, all right? You just leave them as is. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get a regular block and put it on the top here. After that, you're going to go to the settings tab and get, or not settings tab, but just the, the cogs, all right, and get some PVP weapons and get the gun weapon, all right, and you're going to fill that in so it looks like so, as you can see. 
With the block, we have one on each side, and then three filling in the back part. So we have another row of blocks behind that. Uh, and then following that, we're going to go to the half blocks tab, all right, and then grab a half wedge down uh, and orientate it so that it is facing with the flat part downwards, the triangle part towards you, all right, and you're going to fill those two sides in just like so. Uh, and then you're going to go to the PVP tab once again and get the cutter blocks. Now, I'm not actually using these for anything. These are just for show, all right? They make your tart look a little better. But you're going to place three on the back and then two on the front, leaving this the face of this block blank, I guess you could say. All right, then we're going to go to the cylinders tab and just put some cylinders in. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, around five cylinders. And if you have the firework um, PvP weapon, if you don't, it doesn't matter. Just skip this part. But if you do, you can actually fill in the last cylinder with the firework weapon and set the height to 20 so that you actually have a working uh, kind of tank turret here. If not, that's fine. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, but yeah, next thing's next. You're going to get disconnectors, all right? Uh, and you're going to set the disconnect key to W so they disconnect pretty much the moment you start moving your build. And you're going to place them like so, all right? So that you basically have all the blocks covered except for the gun. Uh, on the top left of your turret, as you can see, this one should be blank. Uh, and then we're going to get another motor too. And this time with the darker part facing inwards towards the middle of your tank and the yellow in the cylinder facing, you know, outwards, as you can see like this. Uh, and you're going to set these settings to the same thing the other one was set to. Speed 50, max torque 1000, alright. Then you're going to get a PvP weapon, a gun, and you're going to place the final gun, alright, on the on the tip of that motor as you can see so that it actually moves up and down uh, now if you want to you can actually remove the gun beneath that motor too and replace it with the block uh, if you want more firepower and don't really care about looks don't worry about that if you like it to look a little better definitely do that uh, as it makes the tire look more complete I guess and then there's some finishing details you can go to the signs in the, near the main pilot seat and get the sign 1x3 as you can see like this doesn't really matter which way it's orientated so long as it's touching the tank alright and you're gonna put it like so so that it is connected to the ladder as well as the edge of your tank and it gives it a bit of like a more detailed look um, you know makes things look a little better and then you can set the material of those signs to default so if you go to materials select default and then you actually have to paint the back of the sign so that it's just default and then you can set the text to like anything just set it to maybe like one letter like W and then set the size down to 1 so that it's, you know, not visible upon the sign. Again, same thing for this side, text W, text size 1, and then like that. We pretty much have our tank finished, obviously. Now we need to paint the actual tank, and um, I'll show you the controls after that, alright? But the main color for our tank is 200, 160, 100 in the brick color code section. And then you're going to get the fill bucket tool, and just paint your whole tank like so. Just fill the whole tank in with that one color. All right, and then we're going to get the this color 27, 42, and 53. Um, you can actually get that color really easily by getting the eyedropper tool, just selecting the ground, all right? And this is for our treads. Again, it's 27, 42, 53. Make sure to deselect the, um, the fill option in case you fill the whole tank in with a different color. As you can see, you can just fill the treads and whatnot in here. Make sure you get the edges of those conveyor wedges as they are kind of hard to paint. You're, kind of have to get the the tips of them and like that all right you can see I missed one just paint that all right and then you can paint the ladders in this doesn't really matter if you can't be bothered just don't worry about it but you can just paint that with the default gray color on the color palette 161 165 162 all right and just paint that like so and yeah that's pretty much your tank finished all right now when you start your tank like so as you can see it should just spawn in and the the tart should follow wherever your mouse or your, your cursor is, all right? As you can see, uh, it should just follow you. Now, if you hit W, your tank should move forwards like this. And then A, you should turn, and D, you should turn the corresponding ways. Uh, if that isn't working, just refer to earlier on the video where I showed how to set the propellers. Um, you know, it's a bit confusing, but it, it's not terribly hard. All right, and obviously you have an anti-aircraft uh, machine gun up here, so you can actually aim upwards and shoot into the sky need if need be, you know, in case you need to shoot something out of the sky. But other than that, the tank is pretty simple, alright, so it's WASD, 
and then F to fire your missiles, which should be underneath your tank, like so. Right, if you F, they should fire. If they are exploding on the ground in front of your tank, make sure that you have them orientated the right way with the white part facing down. Um, but yeah, and obviously when you click, your guns should fire, all right? So again, it's F to fire your missiles and click to shoot, all right? And if you have a firework, you can actually spam F, all right? And you can have this cool, like, turret shooting type thing, all right? Um, yeah, that's pretty much how to make a mini tank or a mini M1 Abrams in uh, Playing Crazy. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, just make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you later. So, yeah, have a nice day.